Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Diamond Paints with Mike. Here you see a rock, yes. Um, you might be looking twice, but it is a rock, yes. Uh, we don't normally do this sort of thing on this channel because it's diamond paint related, but I was approached by a creator called, I think it's Diamond Paints by Nat, so I do apologise if I've pronounced that wrong. And we sort of share the same hobby with uh, collecting rocks, gems and minerals. So she asked me if I could show her a video of my rocks and here it is. So we've got a, just an exception um, here because obviously we don't normally do this on this channel. But it's the only way I can show her. So yeah, so here we have... Um, See if you've got any of see if you've got any of these Nat. So first of all, Nat, this is called a giant Yodi. And this is what it is. So inside here, I think they're caught um not quartz, but it looks like a methist or something. But inside there you can see it sort of glistens and stuff in there. But it's it's quite heavy and it's got this lovely I mean obviously it's been on the, the shelf for a while, but it's got this lovely sort of blue tinge going around it. And um, this actually comes from a collection called Rocks, Precious Rock Stems and Minerals. And it's a partwork collection. But this was one of the free gifts. So it's quite big. And what I love about it is that all geodes are different. You'll never get two identical geodes. And as you can see, we've got some indentation here. It's quite a heavy rock. And uh, that's the first one. Now, all of my... I'll show you the individual ones first. And then I'll uh, show you the big case thing. Now, the first one that I've got here, this is not a rock itself, but as you can see, you get, um, this is the wrong label been applied there, but you do get labels. And in the collection, you would get a magazine, a little cushion thing. I do apologise, as I say, this has been in storage. So, um, and then you would get the rock that goes in there, or the mineral, or the gem, and then you get a little label that tells you where it's from. That is not rose quartz, this is gold. Um, I need to swap that over. But in here, we've got a little tub of what looks like gold leaf. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, it says contains 22 carat, carat gold leaf um, in femometical propylene glycol or something. So, yeah, um, some sort of gold leaf. And that was issue one. So you got like that for 99p. That's the first one. The next one is one of my favourites. And this comes from Spain. And as you can see, it is the Tiger's Eye. As you can see there, Tiger's Eye Spain. I love Tiger's Eye very much. It's a very smooth um, stone, I would imagine. I can't tell the difference between rocks, gems and minerals. <laughs> they all look the same to me. But this is Tiger's Eye. And as you can see, this part here looks like it's got like trees standing up. It's a very lovely rock. It's very smooth. And again, with all these, they all come in all different sizes. So that's my tiger's eye. Um, the next one that I've got is one of my favourites. And this is called a methist. And as you can see, a methist comes from Brazil. And this is a methist. So a very lovely, beautiful rock. Um, it's got that sort of dark purple effect to it. And as you can see, it's quite a... You get all this green stuff on the back here, but it's quite a decent sized rock. It sort of glitters as well. You've got that lovely tinge of light blue going round and a bit of grey around the edge there. So that's a methist. We've then got, I think that's blue agate, yeah. So the next one that I've got is, this one's blue agate. As I said, it has been in storage, so... I do need to give this a little tidy up, but look how gorgeous that is. Blue is my favourite colour. Again, a very sort of smooth um, feel to it. And it's got that dark, really sort of dark, blacky blue um, vibe to it. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's Blue Agate. This one's a really lovely one. And this is Fluorite. And this comes from China. So as you can see, Fluorite from China. And really lovely i mean it's got some whites it's got greens in it it's a really beautiful rock and even like white bits to it as well so um this is quite a lovely one it reminds me of the emerald um sort of colors and also the emerald bit uh, bug beetle that you can get um which i do have somewhere because i do collect the real life bugs and that so that's emerald and then the next one is apparently all the way from madagascar it is called um celestine so this is from madagascar and look at that isn't that gorgeous it's a lovely pink uh one very similar to the floor right here in sort of shape wise but i just find it fascinating how all these come in all these different gorgeous colors you've got a tinge of brown there 
um, and bits of white as well. So that's for uh, less time. We then got Fuchsite, and um, Fuchsite comes from Brazil. And as you can see, this is Fuchsite. So very, very lovely indeed. And uh, probably like a sort of minty green there. So that's Fuchsite. We've got loads coming up. We've got Rondonite now. This is from South Africa. So South Africa there. And that is sort of like um, a blacky pink sort of one. So very similar again, very smooth. Um, it's been years since I looked at these because they stay in storage. So that's that one. We've then got Obsidian, and Obsidian comes all the way from your, uh, the United States of America, but I've got another one that is sitting underneath it, so I don't know if it's the Sahara Geode from Morocco or Obsidian. They all got a little bit mixed up, so I'm going to say that it's Obsidian because that was the first one, but look at that. It's like a lump of ice from your fridge freezer, um, <laughs> so don't be fooled to put that in your drink. <laughs> But uh, just the way, if you get the light right, you can see it sort of glistens with like a rainbow effect to it. It's an absolute beauty of a rock and it's transparent as well. So you can see my hand through the, the bottom of it. So that's that one. Uh, we've also got this one. This one doesn't have a casing, so it could very well be that it's the Sahara Geode, but I'm very not sure on what this one is. So Nat might be able to tell us what one this is. It's got this sandy sort of effect to it. Um, Unfortunately, this collection has been discontinued, but it used to be run by a company called RBA. Uh, they're a Spanish partwork uh, company. Red Jasper, we have, I think that's missing. Um, so the next one we've got is Island Spa, which I don't think that is. I think that's the Red Jasper. For me, that feels like it should be in that slot there, which is Brazil. As I said, these have got a little bit mixed up. Um, but that's Red Jasper, um, and it's black, again, very smooth. So very, very lovely indeed. Flex of black in there as well. Um, we've then got this one. Again, this has got no case, but it's a very sort of blue and blacky one. Very chunky indeed. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to keep you guessing that. You'll have to tell me what this one is. <laughs> so that's that one. Again, you'll have to tell me what this one is, because I, th ooh, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's silver, but it's... Mm, the name's coming to me, but I can't remember. I was going to say silver, but I don't think it is. So we've got that one. We then have, we're coming to the end now, we've got Desert Rose, and that comes all the way from Mexico. So um, where Kiss My Crafts comes, I believe. Um, so this one's quite nice because you've got the sandy sort of effects in there with the grains as well. Very, very lovely indeed. Um, and it's really, really beautiful, beautifully done. So, and it's got that sort of, it's not smooth, but it's like a sandy, gritty effect to it. So that's from Mexico. Uh, and then we've got Azurite. So Azurite is from Morocco here. And this is this beautiful, big, chunky one here. So we've got greens, we've got blacks. It looks like that seaweed effect that you get from the beaches where all the seaweed sort of falls down. Um, and then you look at the other side it's, and it's completely different, um, which is the white going down there. So a lovely, deep, dark looking one there. Then we get the, um, this one here is called Jadite and that's from China, apparently. So this is Jadite. Again, it feels very gritty and smooth in places. Um, a really sort of beautiful, beautifully done one. Um, it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just that lo lovely minty green it's got this lovely white effect to it as well so really really lovely in that and then of course we have this one which i'm not sure what this is this is quite a fragile one um as i say because it's been in storage some of my cases have got a bit mixed up um and as you can see here it's a very interesting rock because it's like half of it's been took out i think it's probably a salt rock because if you look here it's got that sort of crumbly salt effect to it like your tea salt um so that's that and then what would happen is you would get it in this lovely display case um they would give you like this big display case thing um but unfortunately because this has been in storage my top of the case did crack and it did smash so unfortunately it's quite an old collection so um i do th need to get another one of these um but it it i still keep it because it protects them you know so um yeah i love this collection to bits it's it's a collection that rba did so for example um this one for example so if we look here 
This is a collection that I do called Dungeons and Dragons, and it's from a company called HarshetParkworks.com D and D Adventurer. So this would be a collection. You would get it once. You would get one rock. I think back in the day it was once a fortnight, and then the next rock and the next rock. And what was lovely about it is you wouldn't know what rock you was gonna get until you got it. So yeah, um, it's been my pleasure to show you that, Nat. I'm really um hope you like my collection. Um, and yeah, um, I'll have to, I think I've got another box somewhere, but I'll have to dig that out at some time. And as I said, this giant one, this was a free one that came from, um, being a subscriber to the collection. So I do like that. That sits in my bathroom on the shelf, um, as if you're like an ocean sort of vibe. So yeah, it's been my pleasure to show you that. And, um, I hope that you like it. Obviously Nat's channel has quite a lot of different quartz crystals on there. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I've so got to show you my collection. Because <laughs> we both share the same sort of hobby there. So, but yeah, so um, slightly different video today, but tomorrow you will get your normal diamond painting unboxing and it's likely to be from Amazon or Timu. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also tap that notification bell and you can be notified when the next video goes up on the channel. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.